You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have the pleasure of having Cindy Scrivani. I said it right? Yes, you did. Okay, I knew you were Cindy Hogan. Okay. <laughs> okay, who's the executive director of the elections office here in the city of Brockton um, after John McGarry retired after I don't know how many years. Like 18. 18, okay. And you're a new face, and you are doing everything you can to encourage people to get out the vote. Don't sit at home. Right? That's right. Get out there and vote. That's right. And now we make it even easier for you because we have early voting this year up at Westgate Mall, right inside the mall next to the Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, it is from October 22nd until November 2nd. The hours are Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m., except for the last Friday, November 2nd, will only be open until 4.30. We will be open on Saturday, October 7th, 27th, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can't make it easier than that, okay? I, I'm the one that batters down the door every time. I'm number one in one seat. I used to fight with Lee's units, and when Jack was mayor, she was first, <laughs> and I was second, until 2008, when Barack Obama ran for president, and then I was number 22 in line. Wow. Even though I got there at 645, there were 20 one people ahead of me so that's crazy and i have a neighbor that we kind of a rivalry with um even though one c isn't as high turnout as one d is that's true okay? that's true um, you know i i'm going to early vote but i'm going to try to be first to early vote i don't know if i'm going to get there or not i might have to camp out the night before like they do for the <laughs> apple phones or something like that because you know what i make it a priority some people don't and some people don't think it's important to vote and I tell everybody especially my students if you don't vote you still can complain but I'm not gonna listen to you right if why bother complaining all the work you, you have to change. do the the, the 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 turnout's been better lately we, we, we hit a low at one point I think it was a mayoral primary it was like four percent or three percent or something god-awful like that it's still pretty low at 17 percent it is 20 it, it is low but um, you know, I think you painted it in a positive way. The last time you 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 you, you, you didn't say, "Well, we're going to have a low turnout." You kind of turned it around and said, "You were realistic." I mean, John McGarry was always realistic about his numbers, and he was usually pretty much on the money. Okay. Yes, but he was very good at that. If you encourage people to vote, the, I don't think you can do this, but maybe it's citizens that need to do it. We need signs around the city. I, I went to Easton the other day and they got signs on all the outposts of the, of the town going in. Like signs that are like road signs, street signs that say vote in the day. They take them off. You know those poles where you have a stop sign? They put them up and they leave them up for a couple of weeks before. We have the, the ones that stand that uh, A-frames that a -frames. say vote here or right. something that we put out on election but day. you got to put on, you got to put up billboards nowadays so people will get their attention. And I don't know why anyone can say they don't know that there's an election going on. Not with, uh, you'd have to live in a cave. You have it on TV, Facebook now, it comes up with this thing, you know, you can vote online here, you just click here. Yeah. Everywhere you look, there's, you can go online to register, you can register in the office, you can do a mail-in. Yeah. There's just so many ways to get out there and register to vote and now with absentee voting and early voting and voting on election day there's so many ways to get out there and vote not even if you can't leave your house you can still absentee vote if you're not going to be around you can still absentee vote there's really no reason not to get out and vote i like the early because you have all these dates that you can go leading up to that um I, I know it's not, I, I can tell it's not your favorite, but you know, you, the, the reason I like it is it's really no excuses. It's, it's like people have a whole bunch of dates that they can do it. It'd be interesting to see what the turnout is for that because Westgate Mall has reinvented itself and it's, much, it's a much better place than it had been in the past. It's filled. I actually don't even know where the Dunkin' Donuts is in the mall, so I got to go check it out and scope it out. It's I know Sears. it's not the Dunkin' Donuts that's, that's outside, outside of the mall. So no, we it's inside really the that. mall. Oh, near down Sears. by Sears, the they, old Mr. Tuck's in the old Mr. Tuck's. There you go. Uh, um, and Sears is still there. We're not on the closure list for Brockton. No, Thank not God, yet. not yet. Now you have Burlington Coat Factory. Burlington in there. Coat Factory. You can. You can. You can work out, you can vote, and then you can have a donut. Uh, not, probably not necessarily in that order. But um, so you also have reinvigorated things with 
uh, new election workers, people that all, Brockton's a diverse community. Very. There's a lot of people that speak Haitian Creole, Cape Verdean Creole, Spanish, whatever. And you now have workers in some of the polling locations that can speak the languages. Yes, and we're always looking for more. Um, because more poll workers, more bilingual poll workers. Um, so yes, so well, they we, come do see have, you. we do have some. They could just, again, online we have applications. They can call our office. It's a little late for this election um, because we do have uh, workers pretty much in place now. But future elections, we can absolutely use more poll workers. And they're there for a Bilingual fairly, would be awesome. A fairly long day. It's like the polls open at 7 and State but you have to be there at 6. Yeah. The polls close at 8, but you're probably there until roughly around 9 o'clock. Right. Uh, they do, we do pay $150 for the day. Uh, I've been told that's less than minimum wage, but we're not actually paying you a wage. We're paying you to volunteer your services on Election Day. Right. And I know in the past, traditionally, a lot of seniors have helped out with that. We do. And students. We've got some students helping yeah. out this year, too. And in the past, in November, we've had bilingual students go to the polling places, so the, and they have been very, very helpful. And then so I really got, appreciate that from the high school. Thank you. You got all the workers that are outside that are working for the candidates that have to be 150 feet away from the polling location. Yes. You know, we don't have a ton of local races, but we have enough races. We have a state senate race. We have one state rep race out of three. That so has an so opponent, Mike Brady yes. and Scott Hall are running for state senate. Um, Michelle Dubois and John Cruz are running for state rep in the ninth, uh, ninth Plymouth district. No, with, the, no, the okay, the district that's Ward Six. It's part of Ward Four, and I always forget. Which is I was getting. Yeah, I, I, I think so. They've changed them around over the years. So, yes. And then uh, we have one county race. We have uh, John Cruz and John Bradley, Bradley, not to be confused with Gene Bradley, who's a right. city councilor. So, but, he's, Court. but his last name is Duran Right, Court, right. Not but every, he, he says Gene Bradley all the time, so yes. people, are, people are asking me now. And then there's races for the state offices, the governor's office, the lieutenant governor, the treasurer, the auditor, the attorney general, I don't know what I missed, secretary senator. of state, um, U.S. senator. Uh, Congressman Lynch is not opposed, I don't think. Yeah, no, he, he was has, in the primary. He has no opposition. Okay, and then the ballot Registered questions, Deeds which no opposition. that's when you have to spend a little more and do a little bit more of your homework because all you see is ads on TV, and the ads are very misleading. The ads opinion. are very, very misleading, yes. And the Secretary of State's office has mailed out books to every registered voter that explains the questions, what a yes means and what a no means. If you didn't get a book, you can call our office. We will certainly mail you one because we do have plenty in our office. Phone number, we'll put it up on the screen and then we're going to wrap. All right, the phone number is 508-580-7117. Cindy, thank you so much. Thank you for and having anything me. Anything we can do to help you to promote elections and obviously cover elections, we'll be back on the air that night. They really want to watch Channel 4, 5, or 7, but yes. we're going to come and do some <laughs> local coverage because the local races are important. They are, absolutely. Before. So agree. thanks for doing everything you do. All right, thank Appreciate you for it. having me. Thank thanks. you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the city of Champion.